The Young Women Composers Camp is a unique camp for a lot of reasons, but um, probably most obviously, it addresses the gender inequality in music composition. As musicians in high school and throughout college, we're not taught about music that women have written. We don't play their music in our ensembles. We don't learn about them in music history. We don't use their music as examples in music theory class. Um, so for me, growing up, I didn't really see myself as being successful as a composer because I couldn't see myself in the field in any way. It's been fantastic. I've never been with all women composers. Like at my school, I don't, there aren't really a lot of girls that write their own music. And usually when I'm playing a new piece on the piano or the guitar, they're all written by male composers. So it's so inspiring to be with so many women who have the same interest as me. One other thing that's interesting about this camp that I think makes it unique is that we don't require the girls to have any compositional training or really compositional experience before they come here. So I didn't have much experience composing before coming here, so I was a little nervous. They did say if you didn't have a lot of experience, that was okay. And so we're able to offer them training really from the ground up and private lessons um, every week that help them to understand, okay, this is how you put together a piece. My approach to composition has been changed forever after the attending this camp. And day by day, as soon as I started this camp, I started to notice my compositional style changing and improving. Um, so the schedule every day, um, the girls have composition seminar and theory as a group. And then they take a short break and then they have chorale, which is our performance component. So the girls get the experience of singing works by female composers. It's important for girls to have a performance component, I think, in a camp like this, because as a composer, you really need to understand what are the performers going to be doing with my work? How do they interpret it? Um, how, do, how are they rehearsing it? What are the problems that I can see in this music? I really like our composition seminars in the morning. It's bright and early, so it's a little tough on the brain, but we go into a lot of um, in-depth music theory topics like functional areas. We pull from a lot of female composers, so I've also garnered a sort of collection of female composers who I can look up to now, which is really cool. Then in the afternoon, they have two sessions with guest lecturers that um, vary from day to day, but are always complementary to each other. And so the culminating project uh, is a string quartet, which will be performed by Atlas, an all-female professional quartet. And the girls have each written a short piece for Atlas. Yeah, and so a lot of these girls, this will be the first time that they're hearing their piece rehearsed and performed by a professional ensemble. And to have a recording of that event at their age is really unheard of. It's really unprecedented. Um, and I'm so happy to be able to provide them with that experience and to give them mentorship and guidance along the way. Since I've been a little girl, I've known that I always want music to be a part of my life. I think, especially after attending this camp, I'm starting to realize how much more I want it to be in my life, how much more time I want to devote to music and composing and collaborating with others. I just think it's such a beautiful thing and it's, I've never felt more happy than when I'm composing and playing music. Working with this age group of girls who are ages 14 to 19 is, I think, the most critical age group to address because this is when people are starting to think about college. They're starting to think about possibilities for their future. And if we don't encourage them at this stage to pursue um, an interest that they have um, or show them how a career can shape out for them as a woman, it, there's a good likelihood that they'll just dismiss it and go on to something else, a career that they can more easily see themselves in. So we want to show them you can be successful and we will be there to mentor and support you. Mm -hmm.